Hey there, I'm Charlotte, the Gulf Coast Granny. Today I want to share with you a mini seed haul that I got at Fazio's Farm and Home Center yesterday. Poppy and I have shopped there one other time this season, and that was the first time we'd ever been. And they happened to have celebrity tomatoes, and I had to buy them because if you'll remember, I killed all of my tomato seedlings back in July. So yesterday we decided to go back. I wanted to see what other fall plants they had to maybe put in the garden. And while I was there, I kind of had an epiphany. And let me tell you why. I learned that shopping at a local feed store or farm store is one of the best places that I can go to stock up on seeds. And there are two reasons for that. The first reason are the prices. This right here is a half pound package of cream zipper peas. I don't need them for this fall because I already have some growing out there. But I can use this next summer and I can plant a ton of zipper peas. I paid $3.75 for a half pound. Normally I buy these from Southern Exposure Seed Company and it's around $4.50 for just a little packet. You know, a seed packet like this. The second reason I think it's a very good idea to buy from your local feed store or farm center is because they carry varieties of vegetable seeds that are known to be productive and do well in your climate. So let me show you the rest of the things that I got and I'll tell you the prices too so you can compare. These are sugar snap peas, a half pound for $3.75. These are Dixie Speckled Butter Peas for $3.15, a half pound. This is a quarter pound of Mississippi Pink Eyed Purple Hull Peas, $2.25. And these are Cherokee Yellow Wax Beans, a quarter pound for $2.35. I did get another bag of multiplying onions because I'm going to share these with some friends of mine. And then I got some smaller packages of seeds. These are sweet banana peppers. There are quite a few in here. Um, I'm not sure how many, but it's a lot. I paid $1.49 for them. A half ounce of butternut squash, I paid $1.95 for. Evergreen bunching onions, they were $1.49. Acorn squash for $1.95. This is lettuce. It's a quarter of an ounce of seeds. I paid $1.50. Now, I got two packages of Detroit dark red beets. They were $0.75 cents a piece. And there's a bunch of seeds in here. <laughs> and the reason I got two packs because, as you know, I'm not the best beet grower in the world. I've never been able to get them to root. So this fall, I'm going to plant them in every bed, two or three weeks apart, for the whole season, and we'll see if I can get a beet. I also got a ton of white Vienna kohlrabi seeds. I honestly was not intending to get this many seeds, but this is the package it came in. It's one ounce. For $3.10. Not bad at all. There's a lot in here. This thing's heavy. For a seed packet. And then the last thing I got were um, birdhouse gourd seeds. $2.49. I feel like I hit the jackpot when it comes to seed prices. And I also feel like I bought seeds that are known to grow well in this climate and produce. That particular feed store is where a lot of the country folks who live north of the interstate from here, ones who have acres and acres of farmland, that's where they go to buy their seeds. They don't order them online in little packets like I do. They buy them in bulk. Now, I don't need to buy seeds in bulk, but, you know, seeds are good for years after you buy them. 
two or three, four years. I've even had tomato seeds for five or six years and planted them and about half of them germinated. So, yes, your germination rate might go down if you hang on to them longer. So what? <laughs> when you have a small garden, it's not a big deal. So I want to encourage everybody to shop at your local farm centers because I think you'll get a great deal and I think you'll get seeds that will work for your area, in your climate, and on your piece of property. You guys have a great day. I'll talk to you again real soon. All right? Get out there and grow something.